X-Men 97 is stunning. From the art style to the mature story, this is Marvel's best release since Endgame. The X-Men are back on top and it's a certified hit. Or is it? But it seems like there's trouble in Genosha. While we're all praising this show, nobody cares and nobody's watching. X-Men 97 has worse viewership ratings than Echo, Miss Marvel, and What If. And if this is the case, then there's a likelihood that X-Men 97 could actually get canceled. So in this video, we'll break down why is X-Men 97 doing so bad with audiences? Is it because Disney and Marvel has been collectively letting the fans down? Dropping bullshit after bullshit? I think what we have here is a boy who cried wolf situation because the animation feels fresh and the story feels like the creators actually give a fuck about these characters. And that's normally what we'd want out of media. The problem is the rating to this show is not good enough to get new viewers and the only people that seem to be watching are people like me and you, the people watching this video right now. X-Men 97 was a massive premiere for Disney+, Plus, but that's just on the animation front. So what's going on here? Because Invincible is a very similar show, but it's not being Met with the same level of scrutiny. So, can all of this lead to Disney pulling the plug on X Men 97? Welcome to another episode of Kalix Encounter, and if you've been here before, Hello, Kalix. Well, according to Nielsen, Nielsen is a site that collects television and streaming data that counts by how many viewers are watching per minute. What it does is it takes all of the popular TV shows that are currently out and it ranks them in a leaderboard. So, out of the top 10, X-Men 97 is nowhere to be found. Can y'all take a wild guess and guess which TV show is currently ranked number one? It's currently the Fallout TV show, which came out last month on Prime Video with eight episodes. Don't you think it's weird Shogun's not up there? Shogun was on this list at one point. Shogun came out before Fallout. Mm -hmm. What's happening with Nielsen is that everyone's running with this article, but it's not updated for when X-Men 97 finished. Fallout already dropped with eight episodes, so that means everybody gets to binge these episodes. And mind you, they're tracking it via minutes. Mm -hmm. X-Men is only 25 to 30 minutes per episode. So naturally, Fallout is gonna be up there. Second, with the Nielsen rating, this is for the week of April 8th to the 14th. So this wasn't even updated yet. When this chart came out, the only thing it could have accounted for, which in my opinion was the best episode, episode five. Why are we, talk, why, why is this a thing? There's a website called cosmicbooknews.com. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they've been trying to paint this picture of X-Men 97 not being successful. Naturally, live action is already gonna tend to do better. We've had this conversation before. When X-Men 97 first premiered on Disney+, Plus, this was one of the biggest premieres that Disney Plus has ever had and hit four million views on the first five days of the Disney Plus platform. I'm gonna be honest, that, me personally, it doesn't make any sense to me. Four million views within the first five days for your first episode, but nobody's watching it apparently. It's not right. making any Nielsen list. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna tell you exactly what it was. That four million, probably a certain group of people pretty much hate watching it. A month before X-Men 97 came out, everybody had something to say. And also another thing, a lot of people just aren't as, as interested in the X-Men anymore. Like a lot of, let's be honest, this show appealed to a lot of older people. Like there's not a lot of young people going out their way to watch this show. Right, and then I also think what happened was there was a huge barrier to injury because in order for you to feel like you could watch this show, you had to watch every everything else before it. Like, why are we expecting it to crack the top 10? On YouTube and within the X-Men eco chamber, everyone's talking about it. Disney's problem is getting new viewers. They have no issue with the old viewers coming in. Invincible is a newer TV show. And Invincible being a newer TV show offers fresh story. With Invincible, we could just jump into the story. And with season two on Invincible, you know what's crazy? It made it to the top 10 Nielsen ratings when it first came out for season two. If we go on Google Trends, we could line up the comeback of Invincible, because remember, Invincible took a gap. So when Invincible came back from its break, if we look at the Google Trends, Invincible was more popular than X-Men 97 was when it was arguably in its most popular episodes. And it doesn't start to overtake Invincible until Invincible is at the season finale. So the question is, with something like Bluey on their own platform, like Disney Plus getting so many viewers, can X-Men 97 actually get canceled? I don't think it'll get canceled. I wouldn't call it a cancellation, but I would say the show is just gonna end after season two because we know season two is confirmed. 
and season three is currently in mm -hmm. development. I think they're gonna stop after season two. We know Bo DeMeo already written out season two, but he's currently no longer the showrunner. We are going to see a drop off in season two. Season two is not gonna have the same quality as season one. That's gonna real make Disney wake up and realize like, yo, feel me, it's officially done. I'm not even looking forward to season two. I'll be satisfied with just season one if I'm being honest, bro. Depending on how you look at it, X-Men 97 is both a hit and a flop. It's a flop because if we're looking at overall numbers, nobody's watching. Let's, we're just keeping it all the way G's and there's a drop, off, a drop off point because they're releasing this show weekly. Then it's also 30 minutes. Obviously, it's not gonna show up on no Nielsen rating when you got shows with like a thousand plus episodes, eight episodes at an hour long. Like, it's just not gonna pop up there. The point of X-Men 97, I don't think, was to bring in a bunch of new fans. I think what it was supposed to do is just to satisfy OG X-Men fans and keep subscribers on Disney+. Plus. The reason why is because there were some numbers that released that said that the OG X-Men animated series shot up to 500% in viewers. Everyone's now trying to catch up. Think about how long that's gonna take. And you're gonna be on the Disney Plus platform for a while before the show comes out. And so Disney's gonna keep siphoning money. So it works for Disney because now there's a reason to stay on the platform and not delete it. But it's bad for Disney because nobody else that's new is gonna wanna watch it. See, what Disney really needs to be worrying about is how they're going to transfer the X-Men into live action. And so click over here because we're saying the X-Men are obsolete. And we'll see you in the next encounter. Peace.